Lauren and Rick, all sorts of people have been coming out. This is a major attraction for Los Angeles. It's a beautiful bridge. People want to get on it, walk across it, take pictures on it. But sadly, people are taking advantage of the bridge. They're doing donuts on the bridge. They are make, they're, uh, getting in car accidents. They're climbing on top of the arches. Take a look. Since its opening, the Sixth Street Bridge Viaduct has been LA's new hotspot for illegal street takeovers, dangerous thrill seekers, and some will do just about anything to go viral. Due to the increased problems on the ground and in and around the bridge, there have been multiple accidents. Officers have closed the viaduct several times, including three straight days, starting on July 22nd. In response to the chaos, yellow speed bumps have been added to the median. Daily graffiti teams have been out removing tagging. Higher fencing was installed to stop those climbers and increased patrols on the ground. Aside from the chaos on the surface of the road, there has also been problems beneath the bridge. From concerts to parties, crowds have been defacing property of nearby businesses on the bridge itself. Now take a look. Some are even trying to make it out to the bridge to send a different message. Here again, we saw on social media an influencer trying to gather people up on the bridge this afternoon to release doves. He says it's a sign of blessing to the bridge to keep the bad energy away from those bringing harm to the 6th Street Viaduct. I think there's a lot of effort that's being put into controlling something that is really public and, and it's really hard to control. Just right now, as we were releasing the dust, they literally closed the bridge on us. The police came and they kicked out cars, bicycles, and they weren't letting other people that were going to participate come in. But after a while, they opened this. So it's kind of a, a mixture of, you know, opening and closing. I feel like they're putting too much energy into it and they should just let things be. But I, I feel like it's, it's always good to have a little bit of supervision over what people are doing here, though. And the people who were out here to send a good message decided to walk onto the bridge, creating even a traffic uh, mishap. Therefore, LAPD had to scurry them off the bridge. So even people who are trying to do good things are still obviously causing problems on the bridge. Again, there is a walkway for people to walk. There's a bike lane for people to bike and then also to drive on the road there and back and certainly not to do donuts. And that's exactly what LAPD is in full force tonight to crack down on those non-law-abiding citizens. That's the very latest here in the arts district. I'll send it back to you in the studio.